Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Sunday, Mosh Pit. Hope your weekends have been going off great. Uh, it's getting kind of warm outside, and I kind of don't like it a whole lot. But you know what? That's okay, because in some parts of the world, they wish it was warm. In other places, they wish it was cold. Right now, I wish it was a little bit colder, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice, pretty day today. So thank you all very much for all the support. We're still waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes as we get ready to unleash the new like street goal, which I'll be revealing later on this week. And thank you all very much for the support over the weekend, especially during the TM trainer run. Here is your picture of the day, maybe even motivation of the day submitted here on this Invicta subreddit by creative sympathy. 31 top was watching the new vid in the gym. Very awesome. Very cool. And they also said working out, watching Isaac, Isaac. I love it. Thank you very much. Keep on going. Creative sympathy. You're an inspiration to us all. And it, it makes me remember that I need to go back in the gym and start doing some cardio. So thank you very much. Creative sympathy. Keep it up. Keep up the grind. I know it's Sunday today, but I just feel like playing Eden. I don't really want to do a random run because we I've had enough randomness for one weekend. Oh, man. One HP. Uh, tango, Tango, Six Golf, Ju uh, July. Yeah, July, Golf, Six Tango. A lot of Tangos and a lot of Sixes. Sixes? Yeah. Oh, we got Dry Baby. Ooh. We got Dry Baby, and we also have uh, 2020 now on top of Game Kids. So this presents us with a very unique opportunity to have some maybe good early, early multi-shot builds. You know, if we get Inner Eye, if we get uh, Polyphemus, if we end up getting uh, Quad Shot, obviously. Um, all the shot, all the, the fire rate... I don't want to call them multipliers. Negative multipliers or dividers, I guess. I don't know what you call them. Penalties. All of those get erased by 2020 at the cost of obviously losing a lot of damage. 2020 was widely regarded as the best item in the game, period, because it used to have no downsides, and then, you know, repentance happened, and who knows? Anyway, uh, but I used to not like 2020 after the big change, but I think that with the way that... With the way that projectiles work now and, you know, the fact that it does cancel out the negatives of um, of stuff like quad shot and stuff like, well, like, you know, inner eye, the, the other you know, the items that I was talking about, um, I'm loosely starting to be okay with it more and now to the point where I think it's actually legit still pretty good. It's definitely not one of those items that is just like all bad and, you know, it got nerfed or whatever and it's just, you know, garbage now. Um, you know, the we kind of, we being the Isaac players, we kind of acclimated to understanding that it's still probably worth the damage down. Um, especially if you can get that fire rate back that you normally, you, you normally lose uh, from taking quad shot or polyphemus or something like that. Also, uh, there goes our devil deal, lol, 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 lol. I really wish I could have gotten that uh, stopwatch, but now we got to be real careful. And now, unfortunately, we don't have a charge of Game Kid, but Game Kid will actually heal Isaac for uh, a heart or a half heart every time he kills an enemy with the invincibility. So we're definitely going to be using that to kind of get our HP back, I hope. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we end up just dying in a regular run, but we somehow managed to get through the TM Trainer run. That was... Definitely something. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna mess around on one HP. I don't trust this movement speed. You know, our damage is kind of whatever. We know that it's gonna be nerfed um, with 2020, but the potential is there, and that's really the type of, in my opinion, that's the type of outlook that you should have. The potential is there. You just gotta hope that you get a little bit lucky, and also if you can't control the RNG, which you can't um, for the most part in Isaac anyway then, you know, it's important to keep in mind what you need. Stay focused. I talk about this a lot in trying to help people be better Isaac players. You want to stay focused on the, the task at hand, right? Even if it even if, if it may not necessarily be the most important task at hand, even if it's not necessarily exactly what you need, it's still important to stay focused and, and, and just make sure that you are aware of the current needs of your run. Right now, we need movement speed, we need damage, we need tears rate. We're looking for a special little gold star nugget of an item, which which is either one of the eye items here, like Polyphemus, Inner Eye, or Eaton Spider. We get Ghost Pepper, which is a fantastic item for us, especially with us having 20-20. We have a potential to shoot multiple fires per shot, which is very nice. Um, of course, it's all dependent on our luck rating, which is negative 0.7 right now, so 
you know, go figure on that. We do have a charge on uh, Game Kid, which we're definitely going to need against little Steven. Let's see if we can try to burn them down here. Wish I had a bomb. There you go, Ghost Pepper. Okay, now we need to be careful here because little Steven loves to not only bounce on just nothing. Okay, well. Cry right, baby, you almost killed me there. And uh, yeah, there goes that devil deal. All right. Uh, no, we already have enough followers. Steven, you, you don't get to come to this party. And curse the XL. So pretty much the worst case scenario has happened. Um, not only do we not get a devil deal on the first floor, but now we still don't have a soul heart and potentially we could lose up to two devil deals on this floor, or, or we could just die in this room. We got to be really careful with these globins. And you're kind of seeing what I was talking about with us not having the fire rate or movement speed to deal with anything. We couldn't get by Steven. Barely got by the globins. This is not a good, not, or, not a good look for us right now. I got to say. Larry would dodge down there. So I'm not reading the question of the episode right now, just because we gotta we're 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 at all hands on deck right now. Okay, so really quickly, the last week's question last week's question of the episode, I simply asked, is red key worth it or do you replace it ASAP? The most upvoted comment came in from Blankus, who said, I think it's fun, so I always keep it. I think that it's a fun item too. It definitely gets you some value that you normally wouldn't have. Um, especially if you're very adept at finding the ultra secret rooms. Second most loved comment came in from William Smith. Uh, I can't read it right now because I'm I gotta dodge NASA worms. Give me a second. William Smith uh, NF NF eight TR. Hey, look at that. Speaking of ultra secret room. Uh, William Smith, who said, I keep red key over a lot of other active items. I find it super fun to hunt for the ultra secret room, and it's guaranteed. I am error room and that is true you do get an, you do get a guaranteed I am error room if you know how if you know where the edges of the map are you can just simply walk off of them and there you go and again it's the red key is all about creating opportunity and just getting more and more stuff it's value 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 we love that word last but not least the third most of a comment came from Toho 77117 who said I am horrible at finding the ultra secret room but it's even more rewarding because of that and then again there are better options can be a game changer though and that is true you know you are much like a lot of things in Isaac, you are leaving it up to RNG. Um, even if you, even if you do happen to get an item in the red in the red room or the ultra secret room, you're not guaranteed to get an item that's takeable. <laughs> you know, I mean, sometimes it can have it can have Sacred Heart and uh, and Dead Eye and Brimstone, and other times it can have like Angry Fly, which is a, always a huge bummer to see. I'm not even going to mess with this room here. Yeah, that's a pretty lame game, but I want my scent back. Although I would have preferred to play the Judgment for an HP upgrade, but Isaac be Isaacing. Uh, we want to get 10 cents here, and we got 6 cents from Crawl. This is... This is that's, that's Repentance, baby! So we pretty much had to take the soul heart first because we need to get out of instant death range right now. Um, assuming we get hit by a champion or a uh, or a Globin. Going to the boss right now, aren't we? This feels like go going up to the boss. Or this could just be the biggest debate of all time. That is the biggest Isaac circle I think we've ever seen. Uh, we just we're, we we want to get Mom's key so we can start opening up some uh, some big chests here. But first things first, we just we we got to find our item rooms and the boss room. Get a we get a bomb. I am gonna trade a bomb for a key here just because again we need to get some value we, we need to get value out of everything right now because you got to remember we're also on an xl4 so we automatically lose a shop a special room a secret room an ultra secret room a super secret room a sacrifice room a devil deal and also anything else any other type of, of special room that you can think of 
all all of that is automatically lost when you get cursed the XL. And yeah, this, this is the biggest Isaac circle I've ever seen. So hey, look at that, we did it. Cry baby, I saw that hit you, brother. We need, we now th this is a run where we need big time players, Dry baby. And I know you can be a big time player. We've seen you become a big time player over the years. Thank you, Dry Baby. Appreciate it. it. We cannot pass up the wafer. As much as we need tears, the wafer is an absolute must-have here. Especially in a low-life scenario like we're in right now, we... You... Okay. You could make the argument. You could, if you really, really want to get speculative about it, you could make the argument that we should wait until we see what else we get from this from this floor before we take the wafer. You could do that. Now, I don't I don't work in speculatives here. I work in the now, what do we need now? Bring me what we need now type thing. We're talking about not only gratification but also we need this now. Like we're talking about needs and wants, not speculative based on what we see. The reason being is because there there does exist a scenario where we would get a lot of soul hearts and, a, and maybe one or even two HP upgrades from the boss, thereby negating really the immediate need of the wafer in lieu of getting a much more immediate need for the tears upgrade that we would get. It would be a massive tears upgrade at that from Brittle Bones. But, but again, I don't play like that because you're... You start, you start overthinking things, in my opinion, anyway. This is just my opinion. I'm going to take the eraser just because even though game kit... Oh, that's right. We don't have, that. We don't have enough money. Um, even if game kid does save us from time to time, eraser is just better in this scenario, especially when you just saw us literally use game kid and killed nothing because apparently it just makes things run it run away from Isaac, which I already knew it did, but it makes them have a ridiculous increased movement speed, which I still don't quite understand. No, we, we cannot. We can, cannot take Hamalacria here. We need the damage, but Ham Hamalacria is just not it. Not it. Let's go over here. Let's get the eraser, and we need to use the eraser on something. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a grub. Preferably flies, spiders. Um, Globins will be definitely number one. I hate game right now. Oh, okay. It's going to be... Well, I guess I should have known it's going to be like that. All right. All right. Here we go. Going to be nothing but Globins in here. Dark rubs. Would have loved to erase these. Thank you, Drive Baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, son. We need... This is the type of run... We're gonna need big time players. Because the game is is literally not going to do it for us. Good freeze there by Dry Baby. We get a little freeze frame of the angle that we can attack Gertie from. HP and Soul Heart. It's good. First thing you need to do, take the nubs out of here. There's no question about it. Don't worry about the flies. Don't worry about Ger Gertie. Take these nubs out. They may seem like they may seem pretty insignificant, but trust me, they will hit you more than Gertie will in this fight, on this stage, especially with the rocks being how they are. Take out the nubs first, then the flies, and then anything else that Gertie does. Take it from your friend, good old Invicta.
Get a much needed tears up. Not guaranteed we can take a devil deal. This is gonna bump us into the spikes, but you know what, dry baby. Oh baby. Empty vessel. And now we have to dodge the spikes for a second time. Then we would definitely take Little Horn here. To activate an empty vessel. Okay, we can breathe a little bit now. So we do get a little bit of help for DPS wise. We didn't increase our damage at all. Uh, but we did gain a little support DPS wise. Now, if we really wanted to, we could play the sack room, but that's playing ultra risky. I would have to see at least two soul hearts in here for me to for me to consider that. Yeah, okay. and that seals the deal. So, at the end of the day, we didn't get as hurt by the XL floor as we could have been, especially given the given our scenario with us having one HP and almost losing the devil deal for a second time. Um, but yeah, that's, we've missed a grand total of two devil deals so far. That's why it's so, so detrimental to have Curse of the XLs, especially on a, on a run if you have bad stats. It can be crippling. It can be, it can be run ending. So I go back to the wafer play. Now, someone else out there is going to most likely going to say something to the effect of if you have taken, if you had taken brittle bones, not only do you have the, you have the ability to get your tears upgrade that you desperately need, but also you gain HP. You don't have to break the bones. That's true. That is very true. However, I would also say that brittle bones is not going to last as long as the amount of HP that, that, that the wafer is going to save us on a run. And that's not speculative. That's just a fact because if we end up getting enough HP to play sacrifice rooms, to run into to temperance machines or late game de demon judgments, to something like that, that is going to completely eclipse the four bone hearts that we get or however many bone hearts we get from brittle bones. Period, point blank. That's, I mean, that's a lot of HP, but you don't take H you don't take brittle bones for the HP. You take it for the tiers upgrades, right? And yes, temporarily, we would have a little bit more HP in that spot. But we would have, we would be down to one heart, if not less, right now, if we didn't take Wafer. And you have to recognize... Are you kidding me? It goes through the... Eraser's trap. Eraser, you're done. You're, you're done. I take back everything I said, Game Kid. Get this trash out of my inventory. So mad right now. I don't even remember what I was talking about. We get kidney stone here. Vessel kicking in, thankfully. Apparently, it doesn't stop the uh, the charge flies from taking your charges, though, so just be aware of that. I'm a little bit surprised we didn't see... Well, actually, I shouldn't be surprised that we didn't see more fire out of the Kidney Stone proc because we don't have a positive luck rating. We get a Tears Up. We get a Soul Heart, which is great. We get something we can't take, unfortunately. I'm going to use the Mystery Gift in here. I will take Guppy's Tail because we have Mom's Key, and that's important. Very important. Nice shot there by Kidney Stone. 
And yes, I would rather have nothing than have the eraser on this run at this point. I know it's technically not the eraser's fault, but I'm still mad at it. No way we can trigger combat in there. Oh, baby. Now, this is what we want. The comeback tour begins here. So, really, really hoping... That somehow we start to we start to get into some damage here. Now, we have a chance of making boss rush, and we should really be focusing on that. But we've gone, we've already gone this way. We'll never come back here. So, and look at that, we get inner eye. So, talk about items that we had talked about previously on this run that we truly desperately needed. And there you go. So now we don't have any sort of incurred tears or, or a fire rate penalty. And we still gain the benefit of, of inner eye, of triple shot. That is the power of 2020. And that is why 2020 is not nearly as bad as it originally looked at the start of Repentance. Because you still have that ability to get those multi-shots out without having to worry about it completely screwing your tears right. I can't help us with our with our movement speed. We I mean it's a start, right? It's a start. It's not a it, it's it's a band-aid to a to a bleeding wound right now, but it's a start. We need to get damage. We need to get movement speed. We need to get HP. There's a lot of needs on this on this run, but it's a start. Okay, the second need that we need is we need to find the the tinted skull so we can go into the boss rush and uh, get out without having to worry about uh, losing the floor. Sacrifice room is here, but that's not what we look that's not what we're looking for right now. So there is the entire map everybody. Congrats we did it. High five, high five. On God, on God, FR, FR. Alright, so there's only one way for us to go. And I don't think that we are going to make boss rush at this point, unfortunately. As we are still looking for the Hinted Skull. This is at the last, last room. There's probably a 0% chance we get this. Because even if we even if we do beat Mom in enough time, we still have to go into the Devil Deal, assuming we don't get one. Indy Stone, you're killing me. Wow, we got it with 10 seconds to spare. No Devil Deal. So we are going to get Boss Rush, surprisingly. Blue Baby's only friend. Tech 2. Sure, why not? Our damage is already is already bad enough, so sure. At least we have proc rates from Sty and also Little Horn, right? Okay, so we need to get into the boss trap room. And the only way we do that is by going to the sack room, which we, we will get plenty of taps here. Yeah, we had the Polaroid. Okay, did not teleport. I need to worry about the cow. Oh, I mean, we can take the callus because, I mean, we're not always going to have flying, assuming that we get an HP upgrade in here. And look how many red hearts are on the ground. Imagine if we had Dark Bum or if we had even a singular HP upgrade. And that's another thing about Wafer and Sacrifice Room plays is you only need one HP. One HP container to uh, to thrive rather than multiple ones in a normal, in a normal Sac Room play. 
Glad we got movement speed. So you're seeing the proc right here just go absolutely ballistic with not only not only ghost pepper but also little horn which is the reason why i decided to take soy milk so and i know that we have we've got soul hearts in here you take these if we didn't have the wafer i wouldn't even be considering this right now but the wafer makes this possible and because we sacrificed so much in the early game with with not having that tears upgrade from brittle bones we have to get some value here in order for that play to really really be worth it i'm coming back over here to clear because i'm hoping that we a get a soul heart or two from these skulls and b get some money so we can play this judgment huge absolutely huge big time plays mom key mom's key coming up clutch here okay now let's go Play this judgment real quick. We have bombs. There's no reason to leave skulls up at this point. They could even give us like a hero font card or something. This is risky. Empress card, death card, or money. Body retro. Oh, baby. Okay, so we can breathe a little bit easier. We got seven, uh, or we have eight HP, which is good for 16 hits total. Not that I'm looking to try to take 16 hits, but yeah. Again, we got another very weird four here. Is the secret room here? I mean, the elbow is the only the only other place that makes sense dude I don't know there's is it is it to the left of the item room I, I give up maybe it's below the shop I guess the only other spot that realistically makes sense on this map but if you just look at the at the absolute nightmare mayhem hellscape that is this map nothing makes sense I mean, it has to be there. It's the only other spot. Okay. We get end up getting paperclip, which is actually pretty huge because this allows us to open up the golden chests for free. Okay. We out here. Go get a little body retro action. Body retro is going to spawn these little red souls that you can detonate with body retro. And they do okay damage if you can somehow manage to like get them to connect with things. It's an item that I've ranted about before where I think that the item could be drastically improved. If the souls, you don't have to change the functionality item, but I would love to see the souls be more heat seeking, more, more like purgatory or little haunts instead of just kind of floating there where they, where you last killed something. Big time eternal chest here with mom's key. The tears upgrade, which does affect soy milk, by the way.
there's a clear seeker room right there. If we're having Guppy's tail, we haven't really seen that much of a decline on the key economy here. Now, something I will say... No, it's too late for a Red Heart upgrade. Something I will say about Vade Retro is that what's nice about it is that you can use the spirits that you get from it to deny shots. Just like Purgatory, you can use it as like sort of a defensive explosion that completely negates shots. Death rattles. It's very, very good at doing that. So by all means, spam it. There's no cooldown on it, so you might as well. Gain a half heart here. Remember, we're only taking half heart of damage from every possible source, including curse rooms, as opposed to late game. As opposed to late game uh, curse rooms, which always charge you two two hearts, regardless of type of heart. Look at the again the instant proc here of uh, not only Ghost Pepper but also Little Horn. Bro, come on now. He says that as Little Horn's not procking. Although I guess I guess Little Horn can't proc while the while the hat's down from the host. Oh my gosh. Body Retro just said hoof to Skull X. Other HP upgrades, some more bombs here. No. Absolutely not. So, if we get a chance, I mean, I at this point, now that we have soy milk, we could do a lamb skip. Go for some extra innings here. Because I'm curious to see where this build goes now that we have... Our, our damage is not good. Don't get me wrong. It's our tier effects that are making the damage have the illusion of being good. Man. And three... Basically three hits in there. One and a half soul hearts is worth three hits. You math whizzes out there. Uncard. Uh, yeah, we. Yeah, there's no sacrifice room on this floor. <laughs> Ooh. I thought my jokes were bad. Okay, now we're getting interesting. So we already did boss rush. We can do old hushy. We need to find a sacrifice room for the second half of the key, though, is the thing. And also, we need to go. We need to go down to the victory lap. Makes sense. So this could start getting a little... You have my attention here on a Sunday game. Uh, if you see here, the individual shots that we're firing out here do not do a lot of damage. The MO of Boy Milk. Hello, Indy Stone. Thank you. We got 30 seconds basically to beat mom's heart and also get the old hushy. Now I will say that we don't have to do hush on this on this run. And it's probably actually wise we don't do hush on this run. I say run, but on this lap. They're both inconsequential items here. So we need to we need to get a sacrifice room.
And the angel, the angel key portion is not even the most important part of it because we're going to lose the angel key as soon as we go down to the to the dark chest anyway. What we need is just to teleport to the dark room. Beat Lamb. Do a victory lap. Do sacrifice rooms. Get the key pieces. Go light side, which is the side that we're already going. And then fight Mega Stand to see if we can beat the Mega Stand block. Go fight Delirium. Then use our key, assuming that we don't get blocked by Mega Stanley. And then we have to hope that we either find a wild card or another R key to make it. Genesis is also, or Death Certificate, is an also legitimate avenue for us to go. Although Genesis is a little bit scary because we, we don't have great Genesis items right now to really work with. I mean, we've, you know, we've only taken, what, that's... By uh, 20 items. One of them's the Polaroid. So, and one of them we started with. So that would equate to only roughly 54 items from Genesis, and that's not a good spread, especially with them not being Devil Deal items, too. So we're going to have to do a full clear here. If we don't find a sack room, then I think the Omega run is dead. But I'll still R-key anyway, though, just because I want to see how far this run can go. Having mapping would just be the world to me right now, game. I wouldn't mind it. It only takes one proc out of all these hundreds of shots that we're firing. It only takes one proc of Little Horn to completely nuke whatever we're trying to kill. This is all about quantity over quality in terms of damage here. Thank you for swapping that right before we used the key. Luckily, that wasn't our last key, but if it was, I would have been real mad. Not that it would have mattered because obviously we still have... We still have the Master of Lock picking. And so it's not looking good for the Omega Run. The Omega Run Dream. Oh, this is still looking possible. And I can't believe how bad our movement speed is still. Okay. Still going. It might be up here, maybe. That's going to be a stretch if it is. No. The dream is dead. Okay. So what we would need now would be a wild card or Diplopia school bag to show up in the chest, and I don't think that's going to happen. Pin down die is another way of getting an R key, but we're kind of reaching at this point. But we're going to try. I'm not going to give up on it. We can actually just trade, sit here and brawl with Isaac because Ghost Pepper will take away from the fire. Crack the Schizzle was completely hard countered by Empty Vessel. So satisfying to see max tears come out, 120 tears per second. All right, down goes Isaac. Goes down like a sack of potatoes. There's no sacrifice room possibility inside the chest. Okay, 
And Hermit Car took us one room to the right. Thank you, Hermit Car. After we got done singing your praises so highly the other day. Like, you can't win them all, right? Like the Balatro video. It's interesting to lose on Balatro because, like, you, like, the writing is on the wall really, really early. When you see, like, how points scale, if you notice that you're not keeping up with, like, with the, especially in endless mode, whenever, whenever things really start getting nuts, um, it's, it's all, it, it almost feels impossible that you can somehow, like, there's no such thing as pivoting in that game in terms of late game. Once you're kind of pot committed, no pun intended there, that's it. You know, and that's that's really like the scenario that I find myself getting into more often than not in, in Balatro. Um where you were like I see like a strat that works early on, if you don't continue to scale that and your power curve doesn't continue to stay with the with the with the scaling of the bosses, you're you're done. Or the not the bosses necessarily, but the blinds. You're done. Like there's no way that you can come back from it. But much like an Isaac unlocks matter in in Balatro. You want to make sure you get those jokers unlocked. I mean, I haven't I haven't at the time of this recording anyway, I haven't unlocked a whole lot. I've unlocked a little bit. Wish we could get out of this room here. Thank God we've had flying. So I'm so happy we didn't take that red heart uh, upgrade from that eternal heart. <clears throat> So now the obvious question, if we get a delirium portal, are we going to fight delirium? No, not on this build. That is suicide right there. Um, what we want to do is we want to fight delirium after fighting hush or going into, uh, going into Delirium's portal after mega Satan, which is something we're going to have to do anyway, if we want to keep the Omega dream alive. Because fighting Delirium right now is going to be painful. Real painful. And uh, this floor just keeps on going. The game is determined to, this run anyway, is determined to throw all the not good bosses versus soy milk at us. Not good for us, good for it, but not good for us. Reason why Super Envy is real bad for soy milk is just because of clown physics. Server alone. Controls. And another dead end, alright. Right. Piercing shots are very good. Especially for soy milk. Excuse me? Little little orange, did you miss over there? <laughs> it looked like you grabbed you grabbed the Claudi once, but missed, and it stayed alive and then got grabbed again. So yeah, so we, we really don't want to fight Delirium here. If a portal shows up, because we still have to get, no matter no matter what your setup is, you still ultimately have to get past the Mega Satan block. Look how long it's taking the blue baby here. So we do get a Delirium portal, but again, we have to get past the Mega Satan block. Same seed, Tango, Tango 6, Golf. Juliet, Golf 6, Tango. And we're starting on the XL floor, and we immediately get a Sacrifice Room. Now, we can play this in two ways. 
We can immediately go straight for the for the dark room, the dark chest. Or play through another run here and try to get more items as we go. It's a little insane to think that this is possibly the only sacrifice room that we're going to see for an entire run. But at the same time, if we're going to get Mega Satan blocked, we need to know we might as well just get out of the way type thing. But the thing is that we're not powerful enough to fight Mega Satan in a very confident manner here. Oh, thank you, little horn. Oh yeah, we already got the key. So I don't think that going that going to uh, wow, youth and age is really good too. I don't think going straight away to the dark chest is smart here. We have the wafer. We're not in a hurry. You know, this allows us to get more items, get a little bit more of a power curve before we start thinking about in-game bosses again. Spectral tears would be nice. We have our key piece already, so we know that we, we've got access to Mega Stanley. I'm going to take the peeper only because I'm looking at the possibility here of staring down a Genesis play that we may need to use. Crack Jacks, it is going to ruin our... our um, this will ruin our empty vessel priority but in flying, but that's okay. One thing we don't need is more money. We've been sorted on money for quite a while here. Okay, so this is set two or three of spun, which is good. Uh, this would give us damage, something we desperately need right now. And yeah. Okay. So here's the plan. Omega run. We go down to the dark chest here. We, well, first we fight Hush. We've already beaten Boss Rush. That's one of the priorities. We've already beaten Boss Rush. Next thing we got to do is we got to beat, got to beat Hush. We got to beat Delirium. We got to beat Mega Satan. Hope that hit. I know that hit. So, we qualify for Hush here. Um, we go... We go Dark Chest. Fight Lamb. We deny the victory lap. Or no, actually, you know what? We have to go to the victory lap. Because we still have to fight Mega Satan. No, we don't. No, no, no. We don't have to do the victory lap. Because... It's gonna. It, it doesn't matter. The the run ends no matter what. If we go to, e, well, even if we fight Delirium though, is the thing. We have to find another Arky. That's what. That's it. The Omega run doesn't matter if we don't find another Arky here. Or, oh, well, no, we can't use a wild card. I've already used the remote detonator. Yeah, it's a, it's just another Arky or bust. Right now. Range and luck upgrade, our first luck upgrade. Oh, we got plenty of we got plenty of money. Okay. Well Chad might be useful if we get more red hearts to play with. But I'm gonna take the tears upgrade anyway. Baldi. I'm just gonna let Gabriel sit there and think about what he's done. Mom's key giving us mega ultra superb value here. Uh, actually, you know what? We can't we can't even fight Hush at this point because the R key doesn't reset the timer. So yeah, 
We should have probably just ended the run. <laughs> yeah, this is this is all kinds of scuffed because now we would have to do a victory lap. We would have to do a victory lap or get Mama Mega just to go fight Hush. And that's not something that's going to happen. So now we're just going to play it as if like we're just trying to make our soy milk build kind of crazy. I'm going to I'm just going to go ahead and give up on the Omega run dream. It ain't happening, chief. Montezuma's Revenge, pretty inconsequential here. And we get Guppy, baby. Now we got our flying back, very nice. Bueno, 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 bueno. Now you give me a death certificate and I'll start having faith again in the, in the Omega Run dream. Certainly possible. The full clear here, LOL, LOL. There you go. Full clear on deck. room D20, which we do not need. Yeah, we've already been in secret. Our damage is just crazy good right now. Not because necessarily our damage is high, but our DPS is high. Definitely make some deposits here. Don't want to get too close to 999 now. God forbid us deposit one cent extra. Wow, yeah, that is just so much damage. Uh, give me shot speed. Hey, we got a sun card. Very nice. Hopefully there's a sack room on the next floor. And another XL floor. This is... <laughs> I, I have lost count how many XL floors we've had on this run. This is a lot. A lot. Oh yeah, we haven't even we have we've been to Boss Rush, but we haven't beaten Boss Rush yet. So it's it's just all scuffed. the 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 Omega run is all scuffed. Unbelievably, inexplicably, there's no there's no actual sacrifice room on this floor. Get Venus, which is going to give us the front-facing charm. That's always good. And give us a little bit of HP. Definitely don't need that. Uh, sure. Bomb's box. Maybe we get a good trinket. Exigual like Baphomet would be nice. So in reality, I, what I should have done is I should have skipped. I should have gone to. Um, I should have gone to the to the lamb when we had a chance to look at these crazy, look at these crazy waves, these crazy kids. Marbles is okay here. A lot of damage.
Another possibility here is we could find a reroll machine inside of the secret room. And then maybe have some way of spawning an item pedestal. Um, we would need magic skin for that. But because we have nine lives, I'm more open to that idea than I am usually. But getting uh, getting school bag would be pretty imperative if, we, if we're going to have magic skin. Shadows is always good. Except here, because we're... We don't really need the invincibility. I mean, we're so, we're so, so strong right now. We're big and strong. Close Guppy's collar, just for good measure. And we've gone the wrong way. Right. How does he do it? How does he do it? Right up here. Swallowed Wiggle Worm, which is good. That's a permanent tears up for us. And it also makes that neat little cross effect. Wooden cross. Now, unfortunately, wooden cross doesn't get two charges with uh, mom's box. Although that would be pretty OP. It just doesn't work like that. Matriarch, and she's matri dead. Eat up in here gives us a little bit of extra damage, just a tad, nothing huge, five hundredths of a point. the flies actually didn't keep up with that uh, needle there. There goes our wooden cross, but it did save us a hit. Okay. By the way, remember when I said at the start of this of this victory lap, that there'd be no conceivable way, realistically, that we wouldn't see another sacrifice room. We have not seen another sacrifice room. So just, just saying. And that's mostly due to the fact that we had an XL4. Again. Which eliminated two chances of us getting an X, a, uh, a sacrifice room. So yeah, we literally would not have had another sacrifice room. We wanted it. The only chance now would be if there's one in Shoal. Oh, we're gonna go fight Lamb anyway. Got an angel deal here, and yep. Immaculate Conception. It it takes soul hearts to charge, kind of. It's a little bit like the scam box, except not as bad. Eternal Heart. We've low key been just getting a, a ton of uh, of random random HP. Which is why I've been looking for a sacrifice room to play. If at all else, just to get some more Angel Deal items here. But all right, west side of the map, everybody. Check out the north side over here. See what we can find. Gas card. There we go. There's the north side of the map, everybody. Now let's go check out the east side of the map, shall we? See what we can find. Kidney stone, please.
no real reason for us to go in the curse room anymore. We don't need the HP, and we certainly don't need the guppy items. Right there we go. There's the west side of the map, everybody. Now let's go to the real side of the map where the boss is, shall we? See what we can find. Look at that. We found it. Good for us. Love that for us. As soon as Kidney Stone kicks in, all that damage just gets immediately front-loaded into whatever we're fighting. Let's see if we can pick up some damage here in the dark chest. I allow is real good. I mean, all of these are real good. And let's just see if would would Mega Stan have screwed us and just blocked us anyway? Let's find out. Look at the flies. They're like it's like one of those like Lament flows or whatever they're called. They're just they look permanently frozen in time. That's how many flies we're shooting in a stand's face here. And we would not have been blocked by Stanley. Wow. The only time where we don't want the way from the Polaroid. But what I'm doing now is I'm exiting Megastan's room. Beat Lamb now. Since we were here, I figured we might as well see if we would have gotten Megastan blocked, which we didn't, obviously. But we still have to do boss rush and hush. Actually surprised that we didn't swallow the uh, trinket we have. We found land pretty much immediately and no, there's no, there's no sacrifice room in the uh, dark chest. Hello? Kidney stone? Thank you. This is bookworm, which gives us more shots. There we go. We did get delirium portal. the lines i can see quebec whiskey romeo 6 hotel 47 delta so the good news here is that since we've already beaten we've already beaten megastan we don't have to worry about getting the angel statue keys it's the scam box speaking of the devil the smelter which we do not care about So now what do we do? Well, we've already beaten light side. We still need to beat hush and we still need to beat boss rush, but we also still need to beat alt path. So there exists a scenario where this is still doable. We got to go alt path though. 
And we need to get exactly Genesis or another Arky. We get another XL floor. Dude, I, I, I am... I, sh I honestly am not like not even surprised at this point how many XL floors we've gotten on this run. It's truly insane. I think this is XL floor four or five at this point. Great item room here, by the way. This is a legit item item room that's supposed to be extremely extremely rare. I think we've seen it twice now this month. And um, yeah. Let's just go get the knife piece right now and just get the hell out of here. Okay. So the underworld, the underworld had a had an item, but the overworld didn't. Got it. Very strange game. Very strange choice there. Hoping that we get some kind of mapping or something. We didn't. And this gives us fun. Okay. Arrow. Juice of Shadow again. Uh, probably don't need two Juice of Shadow, I'm going to be honest. Remember, this is an XL floor, so we have to go into the mines here. Okay. Bible. Two or three for Seraphim, which does, I think, lock us out of a Devil Deal possibility, but at this point, I don't think it really matters. We're just looking we're just looking for what we need, which is, honestly, like, getting Angel Deals is probably better for us. We still have not seen a Sacrifice Room, by the way. That would, hey, speaking of the Devil, because this would be a golden opportunity for us to get a chance to get Genesis. Genesis is about our only play at this point that we have left. Because Genesis can provide us with either a death certificate or an R key. Um, or not, yeah, Genesis can give, can give us an R key. It's unlikely, but it is possible. Didn't get teleported, we didn't get an angel item. Take starter deck here. But we really, or another, this is another avenue. We could potentially get spin down as well. That's another, that's another route of possibility for an R key. Range upgrade. I was actually trying to pick up perfection there, but not that it would really matter. We, we're, I mean, we're taking damage anyway, just because it's not really a huge deal if we take damage at this point. So what's nice about euthanasia is that it can do what what Little Horn can't, which is kill enemies that are immune. Um, like you know, like the host hats. How did that bomb get down there?
So we're going to very, very slowly, this is our, remember how bad our movement speed was an hour and 10 minutes and 16 seconds ago. Um, get the knife piece here, and then what we got to do is we're going to go find the secret room. So in, in reality, it's still technically possible for an Omega run. It's still, I mean, we need some help. But it's possible. I'll send mom back this way. This is gonna be the second second version of mom kill here uh, on top of hopefully wow Capricorn I mean we're gonna do boss rush we're gonna do we're gonna do hush but what we really 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 need to find here is the secret rooms and hope that there's a reroll machine in there. Turn to the left of here. Bro, Mod Modzumas, you gotta stop that. Wow, it's not there. I guess it's the elbow. I have no idea where the seat room is, and quite frankly, I've stopped caring at this point. Or so we can't do anything about the tough twins here with our damage, but we can destroy the bombs, the bomb pedestals. And just hope that we hit them with enough bombs before uh, we run out of bombs. And nine tails is great. Oh, is amazing for soy milk. Oh my gosh, absolutely huge for soy milk. Because the damage scaling kind of ignores the damage, the um, the damage down that you get from soy milk. Another Curse of Blind. Tears up. We're already capped on tears now. 30.25 30 tears per second. Hey, you know what? Give me a charge penny. Give me a, give me a charge penny. I might have some fun with the charge penny. Now what's crazy about this is that even if we don't get a we don't get a school bag in Genesis or Genesis, we still have a possibility if we can teleport out of the ma out of the mother fight. If there's a sacrifice room, we can still do another victory lap, reset the runs again, and hope that we get what we need there. And because we're kind of exhausting the item pool, the uh, the likelihood of us getting what we need goes up and up and up so there still exists a world where this can happen
looking for right now is just I don't care too much about the item room as much as I care about store just so we can get some kind of mapping as this Invicta navigations have been off the charts bad on this run here multiple runs as you can plainly see by looking at this map by the way a whole different level I tell you what All right, there we go. Another world card, definitely going to take that because we can use that in corpse too. Once we get to corpse, that is that is it. Remember, we still have to beat delirium too. I didn't mean to pick up blind rage, but rip charge penny, I guess. Packed, back dagger. Yeah, we have to do boss rush here. Whipworm goes ham here. Sit back and look at the DNA pattern here. I can't believe the kidney stone has a proc yet. Actually kind of incredible. This is just this is just machine gun levels of damage here. So we're going this is the most this is the most weird route that we've ever tried so far for an Omega run, but it's still it's still possible to do it. And no, fighting hush here doesn't really matter because we're still gonna we still need to do another victory lap. It all comes down to us being able to get out of the get out of corpse too. And that is that all comes down to us getting the um getting the sacrifice room. card here. Whoa. Trying my best. It's it's the weirdest route we've ever taken, but I'm trying my best. It would be an epic Sunday if we could pull this off. Here's the rosary for the third time. Uh, Mega is really not all that useful for us. The world. Unless this is a five room, it's over. Or if there is a death certificate in the secret room. It's not a five room. Last chance here. And yeah. 
how to do it. So, well, I tried my best. I did try. We we had some we had some crazy, crazy, crazy instances in this run. But I will say that soy milk ended up bringing it back, and it took a really sort of not great run and turned it into something truly spectacular. And a lot of that also has to do with 2020. The early 2020 acquisition, super great. And also, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep touting this horn. Uh, the fact that, again, the wafer was very, very, very valuable here. And ultimately, us not getting the tears up from Brittle Bones didn't matter because we ended up getting Swim Milk anyway. So there we go. Thank you for watching, everyone. Super long, super epic. Sunday run for you. If you enjoyed this run, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. What? Let me know in the comments. The uh, question of the episode is going to be, have you ever completed an Omega run? Post them in the comments down below. The top three most, uh, most upvoted will be read on next Sunday's episode. And thank you everyone for all the support. I'll be releasing the next like street goal in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. I'd love to see this video get over 3000 likes for an epic Sunday. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I like thanks to Patreon of mine like Yanis, Crypto14, and Sam Vrai2077. If you'd like to have your name at the read at, read at the end of the of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can go find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.